clever profit generating insights. Number one, keep people at your website for as long as possible. Allow them to download free ebooks, sign up for contests, use free online services, etc. This will help increase your sales. You could use pop up pages, pop under pages, and exit pages as well. But be warned, this can annoy some visitors. Number two, anticipate any objections your visitors may have about your product's offer. You must research your target audience needs and wants. For example, your target audience may not like businesses that use free website domains. Another example, they may not like to buy from websites that don't accept offline checks. Number three, remember not to use outrageous or unbelievable claims in your ad copy. People are too savvy online and they're not going to believe you. For example, you don't say you can make a million dollars in two days. Another example, you can fold paper at home and make up to two thousand dollars a day. Number four, pick a good name for your business and your product. Your name should be memorable and describe the kind of product that you're offering. Names that rhyme are easy to remember. If you're selling information products, you may want the word publisher in your business name. You also don't want to have a name that uses offensive words or phrases in it. Number five, solve your customer's complaints by being quick and friendly. The faster you respond, the more your customers feel you care about them. You could set up a handy FAQ page or frequently asked questions list. You could also add more ways they can contact you, like email, phone, web message system, fax, instant message, or your cell phone. Number six, never think your customers are satisfied with their purchase. You should be consistently finding out new and better ways to provide your product and service. You could give these free surprise gifts, survey your customers, take all their opinions and questions seriously, set up focus groups, or improve your product. Number seven, market yourself as well as your product. You could write articles, ebooks, do free e consulting do speaking engagements, etc. You could tell your prospects a little about yourself and your personal history too. You could tell them that where you were born, where you grew up, tell them about your parents or other family members. Number eight, find new target audiences for your products or services. For example, if you're selling coffee to stores, try selling it to shops too. You should always be opening new profit streams for your business. Try to brainstorm new profit ideas at least once a week. Number nine, use the phrase invest in our product instead of the words buy or purchase. This makes prospects feel they're investing in their future if they buy. You could also tell people how much others have gotten back from your product by publishing testimonials of people who've made money or reaped the benefits. Number 10, create offline affiliates to market your product. Have people sign up to your website and sell your products through these house parties. You could have people taking their laptops to parties and selling through their affiliate links. They'll get paid just like they would online. Number 11. Use logos or slogans for your business. They make it easier for people to remember and identify with your business. For example, how many times have you had a problem and the first thing that popped into your mind is someone's business logo or slogan? It's almost like an automatic reaction. Number 12. Use the words fast in your ad. People want fast results, fast delivery, fast ordering. Nowadays, we usually value our time more than our money. For example, you could say our product works fast. Another example, our product comes with fast shipping options. Number 13, use the word guaranteed in your ad. People want to be insured that they're not taking a risk and risking their hard earned money buying your product. For example, you could say, our product comes with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Another example would be, don't forget our product comes with a lifetime guarantee. Number 14. Use the word limited in your ad. People want to own or receive things that are exclusive or rare because they're considered to be more valuable. For example, you could say, this special edition will be limited to the first 500 who order. Another example could be, order before whatever date to get this limited version of our ebook. Number 15. Use the word easy or simple in your ad. People want easy ordering, easy instructions, easy to use, or easy payments. For example, you could say, it's the easiest way to lose weight. 
Another example could be, it's easier to order, just click here and fill out the information. Number 16. Use the word testimonial in your ad. People want to see believable proof before they buy your product. It should be reputable and specific proof. For example, you could say, check the hundreds of testimonials that we've received. Another example could be, all these testimonials below were given voluntarily without payment. Number 17. Use the words discount or sale in your ad. People always want to find bargains. They could be rebates, one-time sales, percentage offers, get one free offers. For example, you could say, get a 50% rebate if you order before a specific date. Another example could be order before our buy one get one free sale ends. Number 18. Use the word free in your ad. People want free incentives before they do business with you. They could be free books, free accessories, free services. For example, you could say free shipping with every order over $50. Another example could be order within the next five minutes and get three extra bonuses free. Number 19. Use the words you and your in your ad. People want to know that you're talking to them. This will make them feel more important and attract them to read the whole ad. For example, you could say, you could be the winner in our next contest. Or you could say, you're expecting the benefits already, aren't you? Number 20. Use the word important in your ad. People do not want to miss important information that could affect their lives. People will stop and take notice. For example, your headline could read, Important Warning, or Important, Stop and Take Notice. Number 21. Use the word new in your ad. People want new products or services that will improve their lives, like new information, new tastes, new technology, or new resort results. For example, you could say, Learn a new revolutionary way to lose weight, or new, just released. Number 22. Show your prospects how much enthusiasm you have for your product and business. If you're convincing enough, they'll be enthusiastic too. For example, you could say, I'm so excited about our new product, or I can't wait for you to experience these benefits. Number 23. End your sales letter or your ad copy with a strong close. It could be a free bonus, a discount price, a benefit reminder, an ordering deadline, etc. For example, you could say, P.S., remember, you'll get five bonuses valued at $245. Or, P.S., like mentioned earlier, if you order today, you'll get 45% off. Number 24. Please your complaining customers. You can refund their money, you can give them a discount, you could give them a free gift, you could solve the problem quickly, etc. For example, you could say, I understand how you must feel, so I'm giving you a complete refund. Or, I've been in your shoes before. I'm going to give you a 50% discount on your next purchase. Number 25. Make your customers get excited about your business and they'll go and tell their friends. Give them a free vacation certificate, a coupon, or some other incentive. Your example could say, get a free vacation to the Bahamas. Or, you will just get a $200 coupon on your next event. Number 26. Give your prospect extra confidence so they'll order. Use endorsements, testimonials, a strong guarantee, or a warranty. For example, you could say, I'm going to allow you to try this out for a full 60 days without billing your credit card. Number 27. Build your opt-in list by allowing visitors to sign up for free. So you've got a free easing, ebooks, software, contest, sweepstakes, or some other incentive for them to sign up. For example, you could say subscribe to our free easing and get entry into our weekly contests. Or you could say sign up to our free newsletter and get 10 surprise bonuses. Number 28. Give your prospects or customers a breath of fresh air. Don't be afraid to design your website and your ad copies to be different from everybody else's. For example, you could apply a circus theme to your website. Another example could be to design your website like an ebook with a table of contents, title, and glossary. Number 29. Allow your customers to get part of your total offer right after they order. If you have to ship the item, make sure one of the bonuses is available online. For example, if you're selling a printed book, you could have an online version available for them to read right after they order. Number 30. Write and submit articles to easing publishers or webmasters. If you want it to be published, it should read like an article, not an ad. You could also offer the publisher extra incentives, like give them a freebie, affiliate commissions, compliments, 
or original content.